what's going on everyone today we are going to go over what you need to do in order to do an oil change in your 5 liter coyote mustang i already have the wheel chocks on the back wheels um, for safety that's already done let's go ahead and get started this is what you're going to need this is the mobile one 5w20 full synthetic it takes about eight and a half quarts I'm gonna need either <clears throat> an oil filter wrench or the k &N filter has a nut on the canister so you can use a wrench that takes a one inch wrench. You need a seven millimeter socket to get into the access panel for the filter and you need a 15 millimeter socket for the oil drain plug. Um, also some disposable gloves paper towels, hand cleaner as well. All right, the first thing we're gonna to wanna to do is take our drain pan, remove this plug here, make sure the top is screwed on up here, and also remove this valve here. Remove this, blow the car, and get it into position, and we're gonna get our 15 millimeter socket ready to remove the drain plug. Okay, coming from the outside of the car, going down underneath, right past here, and right there is your oil drain plug. All right, so we got some extra light under here now so that you can see the oil drain plug. And take our 15 millimeter socket, get right on the end here, and go ahead and break this loose. <clears throat> All right, we'll go ahead and let that drain out. What I like to do is just take my glove and put it over the bolt like that. Keep that from getting oil anywhere. Back above the car while the oil is draining, sometimes it is a good idea to go ahead and open up this cap to allow some airflow to go through and the oil to drain out a little faster. I want to make a quick correction to the different tools that you're going to need for this job. You'll also need a 10 millimeter socket. Now you can probably get away with doing this job without the 10 millimeter socket, but it does make it a little bit easier to put the filter on. So the oil is still draining from the oil pan. From the outside of the car, going underneath. Right here is the access panel. So like I mentioned, you can probably get away with removing just the seven millimeter bolt and then bending this down to gain access to the oil filter. In the 2016 cars, they actually add uh, somewhat of a slit here so that this would fold down easier. The 10 millimeter uh, socket can be used to remove these two bolts as well and you have the seven millimeter to remove those two bolts. And that makes it so that this whole panel can come down, makes accessing the filter a lot easier. So let's go ahead and do that. And there's a push pin on this side. So you can either rotate this out of the way or go ahead and pull that down and away from the car. Now from here, you can see the oil filter is accessible right there. Also, while waiting for the oil to drain out, we can go ahead and take our bolt from the oil pan out of our glove, throw our glove away, and go ahead and get this cleaned off. You're also going to want to check the gasket around the, the plug here. This one seems to be in good shape. Something else you can try to get this cleaned up is uh, taking a wire brush just across the threads here. Doesn't have to be perfect or anything, but just to get some of that gunk out of the threads. Now that our oil has slowed down to a drip, we can go ahead and put the bolt back into the pan. We wanna make sure that we're tightening the bolt easily. We don't wanna cross thread this at all. Now it's a little difficult to see, but there's our oil filter 
We're gonna use our filter wrench to take that off. We moved our pan below that because we're gonna have a little bit of oil coming out of that. We want that filter to drop onto the top of that pan. Set our wrench aside and do the rest by hand. I'm gonna go ahead and let that drip out. Well, we had a bit of a mess to clean up after the filter dropped, uh, but that's all right. Um, anyway, so you take your, uh, your new filter. Um, what I like to do is to get a little bit of the old oil and run that around the ring just to soften it up a little bit. Uh, and then we can go ahead and screw this in place. So you wanna get this fairly tight by hand and then, and then either take your filter wrench or your wrench and go about three quarters of a turn. Okay. And so now we just go back, clean up any more of the, the oil mess that we made and uh, get that panel uh, put back on. All right, so remember when putting your panel back on you got those two 10 millimeter bolts back there. You got the one push pin and then three seven millimeter bolts there. What I find easiest is getting the push pin in place and then pivoting this panel underneath this one here. Remember that this goes underneath this front panel and then bolting it up from there. Now we can grab our pan, pull it out, and then grab that filter and go ahead and dispose of that. Now remember that we want to dispose of the old oil responsibly and you can do that by taking this to any of your auto parts stores like an AutoZone or Advanced Auto. So in order to transport this, then take your red plug, screw that back into place, close this valve, and then Clean up as much of the oil on the outside using just regular paper towels. And once you get most of that cleaned up with dry paper towels, use some of this fast orange hand cleaner to clean up the rest of the oil. Just kind of spot it. And then wipe that in. Now, even though we just cleaned this off, I still like to transport these bottles in uh, like a plastic trash bag or something like that. As you can see, as I continue to wipe, I'm still getting a little bit of oil. Get yourself a black trash bag, place it in there, and when you're ready to drop it off, uh, they'll be able to uh, empty it out, and then you can take it back home. Okay, looking at the front of the engine, on the left-hand side, You'll see this cap. <clears throat> Go ahead and remove that. Grab yourself a funnel. And this car takes eight to eight and a half quarts of oil. These oil containers have a clear line on the side. I'll tell you how many quarts of oil is left in it. So fill one in and then fill the other one to about seven and a half quarts. Stop, check the dipstick, see how much more it needs, and then go from there. All right, at this point, we're gonna go ahead and recap it. We're gonna start the car, back it off from the ramps. That way it's on level ground. Let it run for just a second. Let that filter fill up with oil, and then we'll check the oil again. Looks good. We're right in the middle. Okay, the last thing that you need to do after you've finished everything else is to start the car <clears throat> and then go into the oil life reset. Scroll down to settings, vehicle, oil life reset, hold OK to reset. There, and now you're done. Well guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you liked this video. Um, if you did, be sure to leave a like. Um, also, subscribe if you haven't already. Um, I'll try to do uh, different videos like this in the future. 
Um, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments down below. And I'll be sure to answer each and every one of them to the best of my knowledge. Um, I'm not a mechanic whatsoever. I just follow uh, different instructional videos online, try to make good content for my channel to try to help it grow. Um, so yeah, this was part of my week three vlog. Um, you might get a little bit of behind the scenes of this setup if you check out that video. So anyways, take care. See you guys in the next one.